poster for designers, it was a poster for a lecture poster, so it was the audience for it was other designers. So one of the main messages was of course we do anything for design, like we'll go very far. Another one was uh, that at the time process was very much the buzzword in design in the United States. And this poster allowed me to show the process, the making of it in one single image in a quite elegant way because when you saw the original poster, we photographed it with a very, very high resolution 8x10 uh, camera. So you saw every pore of my skin and you could tell that it was not Photoshop. Like when you saw the original, it was very, very clear that this would be impossible to do in Photoshop because every pore was there. Uh, so it, uh, it, was, it showed how it was made. Uh, immediately to all the designers mm -hmm. because the designers would be expert enough to be able to tell if this was faked or not faked. And I think there was a side effect, another side effect, that at the time all these lecture posters were basically saying that what a happy, uh, colorful uh, profession we work in. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to you know, point out that there's also some of, quite often some anxiety and some fear involved. for David came through the record company mm -hmm. and it was just an ad for a, for a CD that we had not designed and we designed that uh, it wasn't need, need a lot of our involvement because we just designed it with using this existing photography that somebody else had out directed and uh, David was very fond of what we had done and we met afterwards and the record company had warned me <laughs> Salud. Thank you. The record company had warned me that he is very difficult to work with. Mm -hmm. Having, you know, studied design himself at RISD. And I found the opposite is was true. Uh, that he basically became maybe our favorite client to work with. Simply because he was very sophisticated uh, yeah. uh, when it comes to, comes to visual, uh, to visual anything. And he has a very, very subdued logo, oh, sorry, a very subdued ego mm -hmm. that like, all he always wants is to make the project the best he can. And there he doesn't really care if it was our idea or his idea or if we are right or he was right. It was more like, let's make this as good as possible. So David made changes to the project that made the project much better. Well, that's the best client you could ever have. The project that you had asked about, feelings, and then uh, the, the book that was sort of coming out at the same time and in some ways and uh, accompanying the CD, uh, was a case in point actually very unusual for us. David had the idea to do the doll. And normally we wouldn't, we wouldn't take on a project like this because it's um, the concept is very strong, is very much in the center of our uh, of our practice. So normally when a band came we, uh, with an idea, we normally always said no. In David's case, for one thing, the idea was good, and I thought that it, it uh, we could probably push it, and we found. Wound up then doing it in a very different way than David had planned. Some out of some out of practicality reasons, and some because it was more real. Because we, this way could actually make real dolls and photograph them. Mm -hmm. And I think we could take the big, we could take the project quite far uh, because the idea for the title he actually had it during a meeting with us, and I had loved it immediately. And immediately thought, oh, if, if this remains the title, we could do this kind of thing and this kind of thing and this kind of thing, which I think helped cement the title. Uh, it was just always lovely to work with him. It, uh, I remember many meetings with David where I went that I left smarter than I had gone into it. That's the, I would say that's the definition of a great meeting.
other typography and readability issues. Whatever you don't do yourself doesn't get done properly, especially when you ask me. right now but what I'm interested in is uh, we are working on a documentary film on happiness mm -hmm. it's a self-experimental film I'll talk about it here uh -huh. uh, and we'll see how that goes I find it very difficult uh, it's a uh, I found it surprisingly new that I, I originally had thought that I could use more of the things that I already know about design mm -hmm. in the documentary process, but a lot of it is new, so it's difficult, but it's challenging, it's good.